The ripple effect from the NBC Leno experiment implosion. Big announcement. Oh, you betcha gosh darn it for the Fox News Channel. And promoting the Winter Olympics with the U.S. swim team? Now there's a real weenie shrinker. It's all ahead and more as the TV news starts right now. This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TV News.TV for Tuesday, January 12th. Here are today's top stories. Here comes the fallout from the blow up of the NBC Jay Leno show experiment. As the free world knows, Jay will be moving to 11.35 p.m. and into a half hour format. Now that means that Conan's Tonight Show will be displaced to after midnight, and that reportedly has Conan very displeased, to the extent that the Wall Street Journal is now reporting that O'Brien has spoken with Fox about being the man should Fox ever want to ramp up a late night talk variety vehicle. More on this roller coaster story as it develops. Well, it looks like Fox News Channel just got a little more fair and balanced. Oh, yeah, you betcha. That's right. Former Alaska governor and VP candidate Sarah Palin has signed a multi year deal to be an FNC contributor. Now, there's no announced dedicated show for Ms. Palin, so she will regularly appear on Fox News Channel's slate of fair and balanced programs, leveraging everything she's learned from all those newspapers and magazines that she listed for Katie Couric. We're happy to report that Spanish language TV has just gotten a nice shot in the arm as Mega TV has launched in four new markets, Chicago, Dallas, Fresno, and Palm Springs. This brings the total market count for Mega TV to 11, and they are now penetrated into 5 million homes in the U.S. and Puerto Rico. Arriba. And speaking of more positive growth, Epix, the new premium movie channel kid on the block, has finally made it into cable. Launched last fall online and only on Verizon Fios, Epix has just signed a carriage deal with Cox Cable for exhibition of Epix on Cox's movie tier beginning in April. Yesterday we ran the old CBS Evening News Open with Walter Cronkite's voice against the brand new CBS Evening News Open with the voice of Morgan Freeman. Let's have another look at that. This is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. From CBS News World Headquarters in New York, this is the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric. So which do you like better? Which is more appropriate in your view? We want your opinion. You can email us your choice at opinion at the TV news TV, or you can vote on the virtual voting booths we've set up at both our Facebook page and our LinkedIn group page. We really want to know how you feel on this one, and we'll get everyone the results on Friday. And that's the way it is. And finally, Two related Winter Olympic stories. Dick Ebersol, NBC's Olympic czar, has announced that the Vancouver Winter Olympic Games will be a significant money loser for the Peacock. This will be the first time ever that NBC has lost money on the Olympics under Ebersol's watch. And speaking of loser, anyone get a peek during the NFL playoff games this past weekend at NBC's Winter Olympic promos? A featured long, long clips of the U.S. swim team in Beijing bringing home the gold. What is up with that? Now, we're trying to put our hands on this, Jim, but memo to the NBC agency. Swimming is a summer Olympic sport, and these are the Winter Olympics. Summer and winter, they're kind of opposites. I get what you're trying to do. Oh, let's market the excitement of the Winter Games via the success of the Summer Games, but it's misleading. It's, down, it's almost downright duplicitous, and it doesn't work. It's kind of like trying to market grape juice by extolling the virtues of Dom Perignon Champagne. 
Yeah, they're both grapes, but it's not the same thing. Yes, the NBC agency, both swimming and winter sports are predicated upon water, but the water is in a wholly different phase. And if you're not clear on what phase means, get thee to Chemistry 101. Police. Tech Talk is brought to you by Storn Associates, sports and entertainment marketing specialists. Log on to StornAssociates.com and start connecting with sponsors and consumers. Tuesdays, we now connect you with Tech Talk here at the TV TV, TV everywhere. Well, if TV is going to be accessed from everywhere, consumers must know how and when and where to get it. That's where Locate TV comes in, and Locate TV's Steve Tranter tells us how Locate TV spans consumer and trade platforms to fill this critical need. Yeah. You know, very much focused on, on, on improving the, um, the consumer experience, so the, the discovery of content, making it easier for them to find you know, and be entertained, finding the content, which is harder to come by today. It's harder, there's more content available on demand, different sources, so we're really trying to extend on that. And that really fits in with the same mentality of the operators who are trying to, um, you know, moving away from just a single set of box to a home ecosystem now where they're delivering content uh, to multiple devices so it really fits in with the same philosophy although you know we're trying to do it from a, a consumer centric point of view rather than a, an operator's point of view but the two fit together nicely and we also want to tell you that locate tv has just been deployed as an iphone app adding yet another dimension to its breadth of access for more information log on to locatetv.com Future events and opportunities, brought to you by Sando Communications. Sound judgment, solid credibility, and superior results. This is Sando Communications. If you're looking to get your important message to mid-level to C-suite TV execs, let's talk about sponsorship opportunities here on the TV News. Get the ball rolling. You can email us at advertise at the TV news TV. The 2010 NatB Market and Conference begins in less than two weeks. Two weeks. Happens in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, baby. To register, log on to natbmarket.com. And the Cable Show 2010 will be happening sooner rather than later. For more information, you can log on to 2010.thecableshow.com. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We'll be back tomorrow. And we've got the programming pulse with Susan Hibben locked and loaded. If you want to be a part of our feedback loop, hook up with the TV news on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching, and go out and make it a good day. The TV news has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.